Hey guys, and welcome back to Deku Tarot and to your weekly tarot reading for April 13th through the 19th of 2020. So um, if you guys haven't, do make sure to subscribe, do make sure to share the video if you enjoyed it, and um, definitely check out your monthlies as well as your other weeklies for your sun, moon, rising, and Venus. If you do want to book a private reading, guys, I've lowered all of my prices by 20% um, to help out during this difficult global pandemic time. Um, so you can check out um, all my discount prices and how to book a reading in the description box below, along with all the information about the really amazing astrology, numerology, analysis service, Truly Divine, which I'll talk more about at the end. But you can use my code DIKU30 um, as many times as you want. Send it to as many people as you want um, for discounted astrology, uh, chart analysis, compatibility analysis, numerology, life path. So they're really incredible and I'll talk more about that at the end, okay? So let's get into this. The astrology isn't too crazy this week. We have the moon overall moving from Capricorn all the way into Pisces and the new moon in Taurus is early next week. Um, we also at the very end of this week are going to have the sun moving back into Taurus. So um, happy birthday to those really early Tauruses like myself. <laughs> so anyway, anyways, like I was saying here, um, not too much happening in terms of astrology moves this week, but with Saturn and Aquarius, which is all about boundaries in our social circles and settings, we're really finding ways, at least new ways, to connect with our fellow humans despite not being able to be together in person, especially during the holidays like Passover and Easter happening this week. So definitely use Facebook Live, Zoom, all those things to try to get in contact, being kind of face-to-face, -face, even if it's digitally you're, you know, calling people. I've been, you know, again, communicating with all my friends, you know, playing all sorts of fun games on Jackbox and stuff through Discord calls. Um, you can also, again, do the Facebook Live, the Zoom, um, whatever that other Facebook generated one is. I can't think of what it's called right now, but we have so many options to be able to connect even if we can't be face to face right now. So don't get discouraged, all right? Um, Taurus season, again, like I was just saying, arrives April 19th. I always thought it arrived April 20th. It says that and I checked it in a bunch of books that I have. So I don't know what's up with that anyone if you know anything about that please let me know because i'm confused um but anyways taurus season arrives april 19th um on sunday here and the sun in fixed earth really pushes us to go outside and commune and connect with nature even if it's as simple as you know sitting outside on your porch um you know sitting outside in the driveway taking a walk down the street if you don't live in a um a place that has a lot of natural you know stuff going on like nature and sounded really weird the way I said that but anyways um if you're bored you can be you can you know go plant a even like a like a succulent or something that you don't even have to take care of um but getting back into nature back into cooking having a lot of creativity and um grounded comfortable earthy energy is going to be abound as we really close out this week and um just for a little interesting tidbit Wednesday is the Celtic tree month of the willows beginning so interesting if you're born a month after Wednesday 15th or Wednesday April 15th or for you know the month after your tree is willow interesting all right so let's get into the reading here okay all right Taurus Taurus sun moon rising and Venus we are going to check out your weekly here with the hobbit tarot so let's see, this is the last week before the sun enters your sign on the 19th, which I swear it was the 20th. I swear I have like, I have it in books that it labels, you know, the day the sun moves in Taurus as the 20th. So I'm very lost on that. And I don't understand if that changed or what happened there. Um, if anyone understands that, please explain that to me because I'm confused as to why my astrology books say the 20th and... Yet it seems it's the 19th this year. I don't know. Has it been that way for a while? I don't understand what's going on there. Um, whatever. <laughs> Let's get into this though, Taurus. We're going into your season. Earthy, creative, mother nature vibes. Getting outside, connecting in nature. Physical health and fitness, feeling good. Let's see what your theme this week is. Hell yeah, we'll take that. We'll take that and a bag of chips. All right, <laughs> let's see here, Taurus.
And just a couple more here. Nice stuff here. This is a good week. It's a good week, guys. Let's get to it. Um, your theme is really, really nice here. Ten of Cups. <clears throat> that is such a beautiful, beautiful energy of just happiness, of um, emotional fulfillment, and you know, just true contentment, bliss. Like it is just. I don't even know how to say it any other way. It's just, you know, emotional richness here. You've you've reached some type of pinnacle in maybe a love relationship or again, you're just feeling really um happy, supported, um emotionally abundant here, emotionally fulfilled in some respect here. So it could be that things are working out on an emotional level within a relationship or friendship or family, but you're just feeling really connected, really happy. And I mean, the Ten of Cups usually does show like a whole, you know, situation, family, etc. But here it's just this one elf. And, um, but I, I just feel that there's a lot of love here that there is, you know, this is supposed to be, I think, is it Rivendell? I don't know if this is supposed to be Rivendell, forgive me. Um, it's where Galadriel lives. Anyways, I'll think of it. I always get this one. Anyways, anyways, if you know what I'm talking about, put it in the comments below. I'm gonna, I'm not gonna like trail off and get into a Lord of the Rings discussion, Hobbit discussion. <laughs> but the Ten of Cups, regardless, is a really beautiful thing to have as a theme as, of your week. It's just a lot of emotional richness, fulfillment, happiness um, in your life with others. You know, there's just a lot of just emotional like there's just so much fulfillment this week this is like i don't know i'm seeing things really move for you guys this week six of swords ace of wands here is your theme not your theme sorry then ten of cups was your theme i'm saying everything backwards what's happening um <laughs> you guys are the last one that i'm doing so maybe that's why i'm having a hard time speaking my way through this but um anyway six of swords is moving on towards bigger and better things we've left some trouble waters behind things might have felt like a battle for a long time like we had to keep waiting keep working for something and now things are finally progressing moving on moving to a better place here um we're on to calmer waters here we're avoiding problems avoiding disaster um for a lot of you i also kind of get the sense that you're just not engaging with people that are difficult dramatic or have issues anymore and tauruses you're really great at that like it's like issues do not engage because if I engage, it's just worse and that's okay. But six of swords, regardless um, of any of those kind of connotations, all sixes to me are a step of moving forward, moving in the right direction. Your higher self saying things are progressing. They are changing. They are shifting. Don't worry. You're on the right path right now. Ace of wands is new beginnings, new, um, again, as the sun moves into your sign and we have, you know, our new astrological year um, approaching here and happy early birthday to you um, cuspers like me. Uh, but Ace of Wands is that new beginning, fire. We have a new idea. We've got new creativity. There's new things, you know, new energy that we can put towards things, better ways of communicating. Our emotions are like, let's take things in a new direction. Let's talk about things. Let's figure out how we're moving forward. I have this idea. I have, you know, all this energy, all this, you know, creativity that I want to throw at something. And this is what I got. What do you think? It's that kind of stuff here. Um, career is nice and it feels like things are actually getting to a better place. So don't worry. I know all this other stuff is going on, but it does not change what abundance is meant for you and what is going to come in for you, okay? It will still be there. It will come in, especially when you get the justice card where things are balancing out. And if you're willing to look at some truths of the matter and willing to work with it, you know, do what needs to be done, you know, work with the books, you know, do some of the numbering and I'm saying it all weird because I'm obviously not a mathematician, but um, it could be things like that, getting paperwork done, you know, tax stuff, etc. I know that some people might still be doing that, um, but justice here is things balancing out, maybe even new commitments, new offers, signing a dotted line on some things. Regardless, um, it has us, you know, getting maybe even some new offers. Sometimes I see the Knight of Wands, especially with the Justice card, as new offers um, that could be balancing things out that you're excited about. It might not, you know, be paying the full thing. It might even be a short time gig. 
but it's exciting. It could also be that you're looking for jobs, looking for a life somewhere else, for moving kind of aspects here. And we could be seeking some of those out. What will I enjoy? And also what is going to bring home the bacon? And you could also be getting, again, communication back from these places. There's just a lot of movement there and feeling for work and it's good. In terms of relationship and romance here, we get eight of cups and eight of coins, two eights. So we know we're moving forward, right? Um, eight of cups is you know, about leaving something that we were emotionally attached to behind or, you know, leaving some problems behind, leaving somebody behind and working on what we currently have. So some of you could have been lamenting over some other ex-person and stuff and not really focusing on a new relationship that you're getting into or bringing over past issues into this. And you're like, not doing that anymore. I'm working on this relationship. I'm going to find a way to communicate a better way to go about this. Let's grow. Let's grow how we can, you know, how we act emotionally, how we respond emotionally, how we we um, grow together within a, within a relationship, how we communicate. Do we work together? Do we work just for ourselves? What do I need? And um, do I really believe I can get this? Yes, you can, but you have to stop tripping yourself up and making love so painful for you, okay? So this is putting in that work now that we realize some of our behaviors and attachments to certain behaviors and ways of you know acting in relationships haven't been healthy. Nine of coins is your advice for the week. So have confidence and you are going to get through this. Again, being fixed earth, you know, you will get through this, especially in terms of if, if you're worried about the material, if you're worried about abundance, security. Um, remember and be secure in who you are. You have attained a certain level of wealth, a certain level of expertise, and you should, you are worthy of getting more. You are worthy of things progressing at this time, even if it's not progressing for a lot of people. Again, like I said, that abundance, that life is for you, that love is for you, but you have to stop making it so hard to come in and start believing that you deserve it and putting in any type of effort that you need to in order to make it come into you. Um, which to me, again, this is more about like, you know, just following your flow of energy, following what makes you happy, following your passions, communicating and confidence. Okay, let's pull a couple of love angel oracle cards here. And then we're going to pull a Lindsay Andrews power deck. Okay, so Taurus, Sun, Moon, Rise, Moon, Venus for love and romance messages about love, romance, relationships this week. <laughs> Ooh, okay. Yeah, some of you are working on um, patterns from your childhood or again, your inner child is coming out and needs to be dealt with, needs to be worked with here. If you haven't been, you know, as passionate or really delving into what makes your inner child happy, you know, in terms of enjoyment, fun, playfulness within relationships, it's time to do that. Um, but your love, is, your love life is being affected by children. And I always feel this more about um, inner child stuff and also working through childhood issues and problems and if you're still a little bit immature in terms of love situations because again Tauruses are known to be pretty stagnant for a long time then one day they just get up and everything changes and the whole all the windows are knocked down all the china's broken and it's different so um, we're working through some of that stuff we're like hey wait a second I need to grow in this way I need to stop acting this way time to change and it's happening and for some of you, it's letting go of childhood loves and how we act in them, if we, especially because, you know, you're not your best in terms of like high school relationships, you know, your first love, whatever that might be that the inner child kind of clings to or your oldest ideas of love, your childhood ideas of it and how to act and what it is to be in a partnership. It's changing and new love is here again, falling in love again with your partner. A new person has stirred your romantic feelings. And for some of you, you are falling for somebody. Somebody is, you know, stirring up your feelings again for you. You're feeling butterflies. You're excited. And um, it's because you're putting up a really confident, wonderful vibe right now, okay? And you're changing. You have grown and you're hitting that stride that you've been wanting to hit for a long time. It's slowly coming in and I think you guys feel it. So let's pull a Lindy Andrews Power Deck card for you guys. Hmm. Enduring. What a beautiful card this is. Okay. Enduring. Take a stone in your hand and meditate on it. Or use the stone surface pictured on the card. Go into the stone. Experience her quiet soul. The stone welcomes your visit. Let her experience the inside of your heart. See how you are each an enduring mirror for the other. You are everywhere, mirroring everything. The stone absorbs you and you absorb the stone. How can you be alone if you are part of everything? You are the totality of enduring existence. Therefore, nothing in existence can upset you. 
what an enduring card again it's like nothing upsets me anymore i'm above it my vibration has leveled up it has changed and i'm not into the same bs that i'm into i'm not i'm not engaging in the same crap that i used to i'm not engaging in your crazy arguments i'm not engaging in, in these insane you know musings things like that you're just over it i kind of want to pull one more for you so we're gonna go for it okay. oh, i'll have to clean that up after um let's get a halloween oracle i just knocked over an entire deck of cards all right taurus sun moon rising venus Ooh. I like this. Night Song, Hidden Talents. Okay. So, should this beautiful but shy bird sing to you um, by appearing during your divination, know that you must unwrap the present of yourself. Look, some of the gifts within you remain unopened. The time has come to step into your true potential and claim all possibilities for yourself. There is no more time to waste, no more excuses. And that is exactly your mood this week. Like It's kicking off, okay? All right, Taurus says, I hope you enjoyed your weekly. Have a wonderful and blessed week. Stay healthy. Make sure to subscribe. Make sure to share the video if you enjoyed it. And again, I'm taking 20% off of all my readings and how to book is in the description box below. Definitely check out Truly Divine if you're bored and you want to, you know, check out your astrology, um, you know, get a really deep analysis on it because they don't just tell you, you know, like you're stubborn, that's that. They tell you, you know, the aspects that make that more difficult and the things that you can do to change that and how you can work on that and all the astrology having to do with it. It's really, they're incredible. And the compatibility analysis was like, out of this world like it really blew even my partner out of the water and he doesn't know anything about astrology so definitely check that out guys if you haven't you can use the code dq30 as many times as you want you can share it and all that info is in the description box below okay so definitely check them out check me out over on instagram um to get more content if you're bored or you want to connect and see what i'm posting up over there i'm always trying to keep it different and interesting there um, and have a wonderful and blessed week, guys, uh, and make sure to stay safe and stay healthy, my friends. Namaste.